Hey, welcome back. My name is Dan and this is my channel. I love making everyday tech easy. I worked at Apple for 19 years and now I serve in full-time ministry. I recently updated or uploaded a, a video on Apple Notes. Hopefully you saw it. If not, check up there somewhere and you can see where I really uh, highlighted that application. But today I want to talk to you about being more productive. I get this all the time. Hey, I want to make my life easier. The productivity world out there as far as applications is overwhelming. I'm scrolling, scrolling. I'm downloading applications left and right. They're complicated. They don't work my, my need. Listen, I get it. I have great news for you. You have all that you need, probably in your pocket if you're rocking an iPhone. If you have an iPad or a Mac, you have what you need. Today, I'm going to show you three applications that are going to make your life easy. Um, now, before I even show you what the applications are, um, I want to show you the, the why. Actually, I'll tell you what the applications are. I'm going to highlight notes again. I'm going to highlight reminders and I'm going to highlight the calendar feature. I'm even going to highlight the maps feature too. These three technically and then the fourth being maps. These applications are so underrated. They're a productivity workhorse. So let's see, before I show you why or, or before I show you the how, let me show you the why. I love these applications because they are simple. I have tried so many different applications from Notion to Slack to uh, To Do, and it's just so many, and they're great applications. They have a bunch of uh, features, but it, it gets so convoluted. And, and if I find a really good note taking application, it may not work with my calendar, or maybe then I have to go and download a different uh, calendar application or jump on a whole brand new platform, and it just gets messy quick. And I like simple. If it's not simple, I ain't doing it. So I love these applications because they are simple. That's the heart behind Apple. And the, the best news I think of all is that Apple continues to make these even better. There's no chance Apple's gonna drop notes, calendars, and reminders. It's part of their DNA. The other reason that I love about them, goes back to Apple, is the fact that they are fully integrated. Let me tell you, uh, spending you know 19 years there, I can tell you firsthand, Apple is fully integrated. It's still a very small organization, even though it's grown, uh, the, the team that wrote the notes application is probably sitting across the hall or a couple of doors down from the team that's engineering to make the reminders app and then the calendar app. And then the best part of all, these software engineers are working with the hardware engineers to make sure that these uh, applications are running flawless on their hardware. So integration, check for me. Then the other one is that, that these applications are always with you. Man, they are on your phone, which is in your back pocket 99.9% .9 of the times. They're on your wrist. They're on your iPad. They're at your Mac at, at, at home or at the work. So no matter where you turn, it's not like you left that notebook. How many times have you met? I, listen, I have left plenty of times my written notes on my desk back at work where I needed some information and I didn't have it. But if it's on my phone, if it's on my iPad, if it's on my watch, it's everywhere. So let's dive right in. The first one application that I want to show you is notes. Now, again, I talked about these on my last video at a high level. I was just basically showing you how to create templates if you know for, for staff meetings or a grocery list. And there's so much here. And this is not by any means a deep dive on any of these three applications. I just want to show you how how easily and how well they work together. So the first one that I'm going to show you here is my notes application. And, and look, organized, it's, it's defined by you. How, how do you get organized? Maybe you're a list person. Maybe you are a one note with a million, you know, uh, just notes underneath. Maybe that's fine for you. Or maybe you are like the folder king, right? Or the folder master. I have several folders. I can't have too many because my mind will go kind of bananas. But here I have just a general notes. I have a one called the mind dump. I have a family one. I have a projects one. I have a vacation one, vacation dreaming, uh, one for work, etc. So the way that I do my notes or my action items is that I'll go to, to my mind dumping um, folder first, typically on 
on a Monday morning, right? right when I get to the office, and I am going to literally sit at my notes with my cup of coffee, cup of cafecito, and I'm just gonna start dumping all the things that I know that I have pending. I see notes as my life manager. I'm doing that for work. I'm doing that for home. I am sitting there and saying, hey, what do I got to get done at home? You know, what do I have to fix this week? Or what do I have to make sure that I upgrade next week? I am doing this for vacations, for anything. It's my life manager. So I go in there and I just start jotting down all the things that I know that I need to get done. For example, I need to paint the driveway, get a mailbox. I got to call John about the lawn. Kind of rhymes. Uh, I need to follow up with a team about the next training. I have a training set for April 25th. I just started jotting these down for this video this morning. Now, here's the power of notes. You can format this however you want. You can make this a checklist if you want. You don't have to make it a checklist, but you can. Um, because it auto detects fields like dates and addresses, if I just ho hover over them, you automatically see that I start getting this little um, box that highlights that highlights that date, I can simply click there and I can create a new event. I can put here, hey, team training at 9 a.m. I could put the address. I can put uh, who are the invitees. If, I, if this is gonna be a Zoom call, I can add a Zoom link. I can start adding all of that information right then and there. And what I love about, again, the Apple ecosystem, making this all work together, is the fact that I am creating this in Notes, my life manager, but now I'm creating an event, it's going to weave in itself with Calendar. And because if I happen to put an address, it's going to interweave my Maps application so that that day it will go and get me traffic information. And again, I'm not having to go and do this. I'm not getting dressed on the 25th in a hurry, taking a shower, getting dressed, you know, opening up the, the, the traffic. Like those days are long gone. Let this stuff work for you. So I've already added this event, by, by, by the way, uh, April 25th at 9 a.m. on my calendar. I can even grab this note. I can say, you know, file share. Or I, can, I can tap on the little share icon here with a little um, arrow, the little box with the arrow uh, sh uh, shooting out. And it's going to take this entire note and just take it right to reminders. I'm not gonna do that, but this is a phenomenal way to show you again how Notes, my life manager, is interweaved with calendars and it can also be interweaved with reminders and obviously interweaved with the Maps application. Now, again, Notes, powerful, powerful, tool. And what I love about notes, it gets better. Apple continues to make this better. It is completely searchable. I can click on the magnifying glass. And if I just remembered one key word from a note that I wrote a month ago, I can find it. I can lock it. I can format it. You name it. If you want a deep dive on notes, drop a comment. Let me know. Give me feedback. It really helps me guide what you want to learn, how I can serve you better. If you haven't subscribed, I know it's the cheesiest thing to say on YouTube, but it really does help. So if you haven't, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. The second app that I want to show you is Reminders. Reminders is another one that is so underrated and Reminders gets better and better and better. Reminders is just that. If, if Notes is my life manager, Reminders is my task manager, right? I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna put all the different tasks that I need to get done. So here for work, I've jotted one down, buy coffee and donuts for that meeting on the 25th. I put print, uh, uh, print the training materials at the print shop, make 50 copies. Again, just whatever you need to, uh, to make. Uh, you can start making all these reminders. You can start adding tags. Tags is a very powerful way to add into your work. Again, these tags are like keywords that will then all in itself gather all these notes that have that same commonality, right? Whether it's a specific thing, maybe it's just training, maybe you deal with a large team, maybe one of the aspects is training, or maybe it's sales, or maybe it's shopping, or maybe it's whatever it is, you can add tags, you can add locations, again, the integration within Maps. You can add time and date. Again, the integration within Calendar. And you'll see here in a minute, in Calendar, you can actually see and set reminders. Again, it's almost like if this was all one big application with three different departments, right? Three different sections all within. But Reminders is a great way. Another thing that I love about Reminders that many people don't know, you can view there as a list, but you can also view as columns. And if you notice, now I put all my reminders here, I can add 
a, a new column or I can add a, uh, a new list, I'm sorry. Um, and it'll actually show me all my different activities based on columns. That's very popular if you come from applications like Trello or anything that's a very card-based system. You can view that as well within Reminders. Now, the last application that I want to show you is Calendar. Calendar is super powerful. And I know it's Calendar. People think, ah, if Notes is my life manager and Reminders is my task manager, then Calendar is my time manager. It's like having your own personal assistant, right? So now within Calendar, I can obviously set whatever appointments that I have. If you notice there on the 25th, I see my team training with a little blue icon. But if you notice right underneath, I have a green button that says buy coffee. Now, if I double click on the 25th, we'll see that I have the team training at 9 a.m. And I also have a, a buy coffee and donuts. Now, when I was doing this in my Reminders app, and I'll just change it really quick, notice that I put buy coffee and donuts at 11 a.m. Well, that kind of is not good because my training is at night. So let me go in there and let's change that to, uh, let's call it 8 a.m., right? So I'm going to go ahead and just update that. And then if you notice here within my calendar, it's already gone, it's gone up and it's moved up to the 8 a.m. But notice that the icon is different. There's a green circle there. Well, it's because it's a reminder. If I was already buying the donuts, if I select that, notice that it is a toggle switch. And if I go right back to reminders, well, my buy donuts is gone. I've checked that off, which is awesome. So do you see the do you see how really well these applications are integrated? Um, the team training, if I go ahead and select that really quick, I can add uh, notes, I can add a URL, an attachment, maybe it's a PDF for the team that I want to have ready, a, a location. Again, if I want traffic, real-time traffic information for the day of, I'll give you a, a bonus tip, even for like the attachments, even if the calendar invite is just for me, many times I will drop in there a PDF as an example for a training that I need for that day. And therefore, if I happen to run super fast and forget my laptop or forget my iPad or just something, the internet, whatever's going on, I know that in my calendar invite, I have that file that I need. Best part of all of this is if I grab my phone and I open up my reminders app, I can see that my print by the, the stop by the print, print the training material, I should say, is already on there. I can see that buying the donuts is already done. It is phenomenal. Um, again, integration is the name of the game. Listen, I, I would love to do a deep dive on any of these applications, but I need to hear back from you. So you let me know which one of these do you use? Have you tried something else? And have you found yourself coming right back to where it all started? I'm telling you, stop wasting your time. Take this weekend, take a couple of minutes, dive into notes, organize your notes the way that, that best work for you. Play around with them. Add a reminder from within notes. Add a calendar invitation or an appointment from within notes. Get used to that integration between one application and the other. Go into reminders. If you haven't used reminder in a long time, it is completely different. It is a powerhouse, super underrated. Dive into calendar and organize. I hope that this quick video will get you started on your productivity journey. Again, my name is Dan, and I love making everyday tech easy. If you enjoyed this video, man, give me a thumbs up. It means the world. Let me know what you want to see next. And again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do so. That'll, get, that'll be an amazing treat for me on this day. I can't wait to see you on the next one. Catch you guys later.